all welcome to home schooling with Hera and here I am with another video about shua what is shua I have already created some videos about this topic but still people have confusions so thought to just recall those concepts and give you some more tips about this sound so let's get started if I ask you do you know the most frequently used vowel sound you might say letter e but it's the most common letter, although I'm asking about the most common vowel sound. So if you don't know, let me tell you, it's schwa. Now, what is schwa indeed? So schwa is nothing but a lazy a. Uh. The symbol is an upside down letter E. And schwa can also say the short vowel A sound in many words. So either a. Uh, and a it's a lazy vowel sound and this is the most common and the most frequently used vowel sound so if you want to learn all about shua how to identify it how to write this in words and how to teach this stuff to your kids this video is for you be with me to the end of the video let's read these words comma tunnel occur sofa mountain in all these words, we have schwa. Just have a look here. If I say the word comma, k, a, ka, m, this is the short vowel o sound, but letter a is saying here a, comma. So it's a schwa. In tunnel, t, a, n, tan, it's the short u sound, but here it's a, a. And L. So letter E, the vowel E is saying the schwa sound. Occur. Now here we have O saying the E uh sound. So far. Again, A saying a uh. mountain. A I, the long vowel sound or the vowel team A is saying a uh sound. Mountain. It's not mountain, mountain. Right? So this is how commonly schwa is found in English words. Now, let's get some more information about schwa so we can proceed any further. Any vowel can make a schwa sound, right? The second thing is, schwa is a lazy a uh or a uh sound. Moreover, it is represented by an upside down e that is something like this, right? Then we have vowels can say the schwa sound in open syllables too. As you might know that in open syllables, vowels say their long sounds like A, E, I, O, U. But they can also say the schwa sound in the open syllable positions. Next is schwa is an unaccented vowel sound. Now if you don't know the meaning of this word unaccented, I'll just tell you hold on for a while. The last part is you'll find schwa in an unstressed syllable. Unaccented vowel sound in unstressed syllable. Now all this information is pretty clear but let's find out what do I mean by unaccented vowel sound and unstressed syllable. So here you are. If you read these words on bed, rain, shirt, script, scratch. It's a two letter word, three letter, four letter, five, six, and then seven letter word. But all of these words are monosyllabic because we have a single vowel sound in all of them. Long A, a single vowel sound. R, R controlled vowel, but a single vowel. Then A, A, O, and A. So if you have a single syllable word, a monosyllabic word, the vowel will say either is long or short sound but that will be the complete long and short sound these are stressed syllable where vowel are saying their long sound however if you see some multisyllabic words for example the word so far so here o is saying its long sound because it is at the open syllable position but the other vowel that is a is neither saying its long nor its short sound instead it's saying a uh, so far so when you have a multisyllabic or disyllabic word you have one syllable that is stressed and in the stressed syllable 
the vowels say its complete sound, no matter long or short. And in the unstressed syllable, the vowel just shrinked to schwa. Here are some more examples like banana, banana, b, a, a, bana. Here A is saying the complete sound. This is the stressed syllable with an accented vowel. Banana. Again, a. Content. Content. Here, k, a is saying complete sound. This is the stressed syllable. Vowel is saying is complete sound. It is accented. But in the word content, O is not saying its complete sound, but letter E is saying its short vowel sound. So this is the stress syllable and this is the accented vowel. This will help you further understand it. So far, content, what are the contents of this course? Content means what is included in something. Like I'm a content creator, right? Banana and content. Content means you are satisfied. I'm satisfied with my life. I'm contented, right? So this schwa, the stress and unstressed syllable, the accented and unaccented vowel help us pronounce the word clearly and also help us to understand what is the meaning of the word. Like in these two words, the spellings are same, but the meanings are quite a lot different. Got it? Now let's just summarize the stressed and unstressed syllable. You can pause the video here, take the screenshot of this and can read it yourself. Now if you have got what is schwa, the next challenge is to find out schwa in words. How one will find or how the kids will find that where is schwa in this word if they come across to a new word. So to help you with this, I have some tips to share with you. Remember, we cannot teach schwa to young kids. They should be at least in grade 2 and they should know that how to break words into syllables, right? Then only you will go for schwa sound. So tip number one is, if the long and the short vowels both don't sound right, try the schwa sound. For example, let's break the word idea into syllable. I-D-A. Now let's try to read this word with I-D-A or I-D-A. I-D-A, I-D-A. Not sounding correct, go for schwa. I-D-A, idea. This is our right word, right? The next word is off and. Offend, off and or offend. Offend, offend sounds right. So this O is schwa. I Tam, I tam or I team, both don't sound right. So let's try it with schwa. Item, item, making sense. Good. Album, album. We don't say album with a complete short U sound. It's not bum, it's album. So this U here is schwa. If you want to learn the difference between short U and schwa sound, check out the description box later. Tip number two, the letter A at the end of multisyllabic words is a schwa, often, right? For example, data. We cannot say date or data, it's data. Comma, sofa, banana, stigma, a, 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 and a. All the A's are saying a. I'm not saying always, usually, most often right? Because these are tips, not any rules. Number three, the letter A at the beginning of multisyllabic words, mostly in high frequency words, is often a schwa. High frequency words are like that we frequently use, like ago, about, around, among, along. Now they are multisyllabic, more than one syllable, and A is saying the a uh sound, neither long A, nor short a. So this is a, 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 and a again. Next, we have tip number four. If you have a sound at the end of words, the vowels before the letter L is a schwa, most likely. For example, the word camel, camel. We are saying a sound. So this e is a schwa. Bridal, bridal. 
a uh, this a is a schwa national a before l is a schwa towel caramel now i have tried to make it so clear for you and i hope that it's clear now if no so please write in the comment box but don't leave the video because there is something more for you how to pick schwa while riding how you can help your kids that here you need to write the schwa sound with this vowel we don't know which vowel can come in the word because every vowel can say the schwa sound so for that this is unfortunately kind of nightmare we don't have any rules again so no rules for this practice will help you to be perfect however we can help kids in dictation by sounding out the words as we write them this is how we teach them tricky words or the words that sound different from their spellings so let's check out the last technique that is the only hope and help in writing schwa sound if you are dictating the word bottom to kids tell them to write bot tom can you please write bot tom so they will write bot tom and then you can say if you want to write the word bottom you need to write bot tom o is schwa here then mark it with schwa let's write the word amount but write it with a mount a mount a single a and then mount they will write the word a mount then tell them that the a is amount is a schwa so it is saying the a uh sound rib on ribbon if you want to write ribbon you need to write ribbon if you want to write upon you need to write a pawn a pawn right so this is how you can just hint them while giving them dictations but at the end they need to learn these words in which they have schwa and you can help them with spelling list you can help them with continuous practice and by reading more and more books but please remember one last thing there is a difference between schwa and the short vowel u if you want to learn this difference check out the description box right and this is the end of our today's video kudos hope you have got it if yes if you found this video anyway helpful please like subscribe and share do write a comment in the comment box so youtube can bring my post up i'll see you soon with something new take care bye for now and don't forget to make it a great day bye